Hello again and welcome to the Master's Voice. I am Celestial and you are welcome to this channel. To old and new subscribers alike, you are very welcome. I am continuing with the prophecies of the Master's Voice. Some of these prophecies have not been published yet. However, that is no deterrent to me as I am working to finish the Lord's work. <coughs> Excuse me, please. And it really blesses me to see how many of them I have covered. Remember that on the master's voice, God's basic rule is that in the mouth of two or three witnesses, then let every matter be established. And on the master's voice, some prophecies have come over 20 times, such as deeper insight into what really happened in 2020. What was that whole international pause about? What was this big push? that all the nations were being steered and pressured into what was that about? All those prophecies can only be found on BitChute, Rumble, and Brighteon at this time. They are no longer hosted on YouTube. And uh, on BitChute and Brighteon, I do have playlists. So if you go there, you can find out all those prophecies in order, I think, from December 2020 all the way up, what God was saying, the warnings he was giving. Today, I'm looking at a prophecy that came through on a prayer call. And um, that prayer call was, it was not well recorded. I we, would, we were only taking notes. I did not put it on record. And so I just don't, I don't have an audio for that. However, the notes that we have, we compiled each person remembering, and I will now read out those notes for you, and then they will be published on the Master's Voice at a later time. The website to find all these prophecies is www.the-masters-voice.com. That is where you can find all prophecies in print. This prophecy is distressing. It is called the Highway into the Sea. Africa, you are in trouble, part two. Now, in the middle of this prayer call, we're praying, we're praying, we're praying, and we're lifting up the needs of people. We're lifting up the needs of nations. We're lifting up particular groups, people who have children, but both people are in the home, people who have children, but they're single parents. The needs for those two are different. We're lifting up different needs before God. We're, we're praying from this thing to that thing, and then the Lord will interject. And very often, the direction that the Lord takes has nothing to do with what we are praying about. So he can answer and we will begin to hear live prophecy, which I have put online for you many times to share with you what the heavenly father sounds like in action. But on this occasion, we were not even in the ballpark and uh, God began to name these countries and the countries he named were Nigeria, Liberia, he said Kotonou, but then later on, I found out Kotonou is not a country. The country is Benin, Ghana, Cameroon, South Africa, Botswana, Zimbabwe, Zambia, and the accusation of the Lord, also Tanzania, and the accusation of the Lord, Malawi. The accusation of the Lord is that these nations are practicing what he called diabolical witchcraft. Now I've often spoken about this. He said, these nations, their names kept coming. And he said, these nations are practicing diabolical witchcraft. Now to those who know, they know. To those who don't know, they don't know. I think most people, their knowledge in witchcraft goes as far as that man in the book of Acts, Simon the sorcerer, who the Bible says that Whatever powers Simon was using, the people just followed him willingly and they saw him as a great man. He might have been using the power of seduction and clearly those people in that town that Simon were in were definitely in witchcraft because when Paul and them came preaching fire and brimstone, the Bible says that they brought all their witchcraft books and they brought them to be burned. There's something that I call starter witchcraft. It is the young ladies who go to Walmart and get a book that, that says spells to get your man and that type of thing. And all they want you to do is buy a few rainbow crystals and do this and face towards the sun three times. And all these actions, please understand, in witchcraft, the actions are not really the hook. 
The actions are lining you up for the obedience that the spirits need so they can attach to you and get their claws into you. God works in our lives through obedience. The more we obey him, the more we can see ourselves being moduled, modeled, transformed. And the work that God says he will do is to, because he's working to see the image of his beautiful son in us. So that's what God wants to see. So demons are always working. Just always assume that demons and devils, warlocks, witches, and all that family are always working in the exact opposite direction from where God is heading, but doing the same thing. Satan is also looking for his crew. He wants to see his image here in the earth. This is why in the prophecy that you watched about the man in the bralette, it's called dry rivers, dry wombs. That is a heartbreaking prophecy of how Satan is working to destroy the image of God in man, to deface this temple so that when God looks at it, he can't see a single thing that reminds him of the image of Christ, but he only sees the image of the defiant Lucifer. When you are projecting that image towards the Lord, he has no choice but to deny you entry into his family because the Bible clearly says that anybody who sits at the table of demons and devils cannot also partake of the table of the Lord. So once you think about the choices that people are making in life, it becomes so clear what is going on and that should hasten your footsteps to make the right choice and choose Jesus Christ while he is freely available in the earth. Never forget that God said that there's a whole group of people who come to him now and come to him freely. That freely means that you can get born again and you can have all the tears and, and the warm things and there'll be 17 people around you and just praying love on you and, and helping you pray your sins off and just pouring love. And then, and then there's that other coming to Jesus where you'll be probably doing it under some bush somewhere crying because there are 18 wolves around you and you see how it's going to go, but you just want to make sure that you're right with God before one of them jumps. We can come into the ark now because when he shuts it, floodwaters are going to hit. So starter witchcraft is only trying to build you up towards initial obedience for you to be taken in a net of subservience to the devil. Diabolical witchcraft is for pros. These are people who have made their decision because there are some fundamental choices that you have to have made before you can snatch a young woman from her home and drag her down to the sea to give her to the dragons that are in the waters. You're not confused when you come to the point of spilling human blood. You're not confused when you tell a child's mother, I just need to borrow the boy for a while. I need to go and see my relatives. And then you disappear because you have taken the child to the witch doctor to be used instead of a chicken because the witch doctor has informed you that he went and he did the rattling things and he spoke to the spirit inside of the tree and the tree told him that even though you've been bringing chickens and then you escalated to goats and then you brought a whole cow, it's now not enough and now human blood is required. Satan escalates and you will hear that in this prophecy. Diabolical witchcraft is for the big boys. America, a note to you, diabolical witchcraft is what the Masons practice. You're in a Mason church, you are the chicken. You are the goat, you are the cow. When the strange accidents begin to happen in the members of people, like, oh, she was such a nice lady. She wasn't even that old, just 35. It's never random. He said that the witches of America pay their fees like gym memberships. And you know, to have access to the gym, you have to pay every month. So that means every month, the cows and chickens of the United States are being taken somewhere by these Rosicrucian pastors that you won't leave alone because how dare anyone speak against the man of God? Diabolical witchcraft in Africa the Lord was saying on that call in such an angry tone that Satan is demanding more blood in Africa. The stakes are high and it's not just the kind of blood that the witches will spill in human sacrifice, but there is another type of blood that comes out in raping 
virgin people. That kind of blood is highly prized. This is why so many pastors are trying to get their first try at young men taking away the backside virginity of young men and women because that blood is ritual blood. And I spoke about it in the prophecy that is called the end of the way of the wicked. Everything is seamless in the kingdom of darkness. It's the kingdom of light that's still trying to get it together and arguing on Facebook. These people, they march in lockstep in the diabolical world. And that's because Satan doesn't give them much room for error. Go and watch any, I used to be a witch testimony. And they will tell you many of my friends didn't make it to YouTube to testify. They messed up and they died because Satan doesn't tolerate error. It's only God who forgives. Satan doesn't forgive. Since he fell, he doesn't know how to spell that word. So Satan wants more blood, virgin blood. This is why they're getting the children younger and younger. This is why they're spoiling the children younger and younger, but they also want the blood of human sacrifice. The Lord says that human sacrifice in Africa has spiked to an all time high. He says the deities are demanding blood and that Satan has raised the price. What is this price? The price for fame? the price to maybe not have one store. You want a chain of successful stores the way that other guy has, and you couldn't figure out how to diversify. And you had one conversation with him one evening when he was drunk enough to tell you how he paid with his wife's sister who mysteriously got sick and passed away. And after everyone had finished crying three months later to throw off the scent of suspicion, suddenly he got major do deals from Dubai major deals from the UK. And now he is a successful chain of 15 businesses from one shop that used to sell Coca-Cola. And you want to know how to do the same. And when he told you what he did while drunk, you didn't flinch. You started figuring out which of your wife's sisters you could get rid of. That is diabolical witchcraft. The price has gone up for fame. The price has gone up for chain stores. The price has gone up to win in the next political election. The price has gone up to be promoted to the principal of the high school. The price has gone up to be South Africa's top model. The price has gone up to become a Nigerian oil mogul. The price has gone up to run for politics in Liberia, Cameroon, Ghana, Botswana, Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe, Zambia, Tanzania, Malawi. The price has gone up and guess what? God says that people are not flinching. They are listening to the deities. They are listening to the, these people that are sitting in the dark places, giving the instructions that are coming from the shrines, the altars, the demonic gods and saying, well, we need two virgins one to kill and one for you to sleep with here on top of the grave. And then we'll take care of everything. You should see the results within about six months after they stop looking for the dead one. This is what is happening. God calls this the bloody highway into the sea. And as the prayer call was going on and all this information was just coming live out of my mouth, I do regret that we did not record that. I began to see the sea brothers and sisters opening up the way it did in the Exodus. The sea was drawing back, drawing back, but opening at the same time. And what began to race from the land. So how do I do this? Here's the sea and it's drawing back and it's opening. And then here's the land. What is rolling from the land into this highway? Here we go. Here is the highway and here's the land and here's the sea. And what was rolling into the sea in this widening highway was blood. Furious river of blood, a highway of blood, rushing, churning, gushing into the sea, pay, paying debts to deities, gods, the mermaids, the sirens, the mummy water of the sea, gushing in, and the sea was opening to receive her dues. And the Lord said to me, a human being is a perishable object in Africa. 
something that is easily thrown away, easily disposed of, like trash. They are used for ritual sacrifices. It happens almost like a business. It is a well-oiled machine. There is now a danger of the sort where the wickedness and the violence doesn't even hide anymore. It's taking place right in the open. And God said that the law enforcement of these nations that I named can no longer cope with it. South Africa, Liberia, Benin, Ghana, Nigeria, Cameroon, Botswana, Zambia, Zimbabwe, Tanzania, and Malawi, God says that the wickedness and the ritual sacrifices, this is people suddenly going missing. When the cops find them, they've been gutted open like a fish and every single organ inside is missing. Usually the privates are missing. Sometimes the eyes and the tongue are missing. It is violence and wickedness, he says, that isn't hiding anymore. It's now come to the place where they aren't even bothering to hide the bodies and the cops are starting to find more and more of these people, more and more people going missing. And the law enforcement machine is not as efficient as the human sacrifice machine. And he says that the cops, the task forces are not coping with it. He said they can't handle it anymore. They can't handle the number of young girls that are coming and saying from nothing. I was jumped on and raped, and they put a towel under me, raped me, left me there, took the towel, jumped into a van, and ran away. Why? They only need the towel from the girl. They don't need the girl if she's lucky. That kind of thing. And so he said they can't handle it anymore. The police, they can't deal with the number of cases that they're getting per day. And God said, especially in South Africa, the body count of this type of thing is mounting and he says that it is all because witchcraft and sacrifice, human sacrifice have become the go-to gateways for wealth, money, fame, and power. So these musicians do not want to make it on talent anymore. Who cares about talent? Find yourself a willing mermaid. Strike a deal with that creature that I saw sitting under the sea on a throne that sits with her hands like this with golden records spinning one above each hand, spinning in the air. Strike your deal with the siren musician queen or one of her younger sisters, and then suddenly you will catapult to national, regional, international fame. Nobody has time for talent anymore. A lot of these musicians have found another stairway, a fast stairway, that is to link up with the complicit, completely sold out Illuminati puppet singers here, do one or two collaborations and off you go. It's like snakes and ladders. You get that ladder and you're suddenly zooming out because if you collab with so-and-so, if you collab with so-and-so, especially with the kind of dues she paid or with the kind of dues he has paid, you get to skip a few steps on their coattails, and up you go. Money is a great reason that people do this. Some people, they just want to be rich. They're not trying to be in the political scene. They just want to have 22 Mercedes Benzes, nine Hummers, and 15 homes scattered around the UK. And we look straight to the false prophets and the false pastors in Africa for that. This is their forte. These people own more property than the average real estate company in the United States. They have property scattered all over the globe. You talk to this person and he can barely speak enough words to make sense. Hardly any education, hardly any exposure to the outside world. In other words, no external merit that shows how this person accumulated this much wealth in only two to three years. These people can hardly read their passports. Some of them, especially the newer ones that are coming up, they're milking the people, the kind of diabolical witchcraft that they are getting from places like Ghana and Nigeria. Those countries, if you're listening, you can't deny what I am saying. You are hubs that are right up there with the United States and with India. Now, those people in India, that is gold-plated witchcraft right there. And that is all I will say about that. <clears throat>
And so some people just want money, but some people want fame. Some people want power. Some people want to be extremely wealthy and well up, well off. And so God says that no matter how you want to go up, just to kill someone, sacrifice someone, and you can be a celebrity. You can be a famous prophet. You don't need to be called by God. The people will make you one. You just need to tell the right lies, make the right murder, and it will come. He said you can be a businessman. You can become successful overnight because the payment of this blood, please listen, is a mockery of the payment of blood of Jesus Christ. God demanded blood, but God made sure that he paid his own bill. He provided his own sacrifice lamb, our perfect Christ. Satan is not so generous. He's asking for other people's blood. He said that payment of blood will catapult you into stardom, money, power, fame. It is a ritual and the cries of the earth receiving the blood of man at this time is great. America does the same thing, but there are enough prophecies on how America does this. The Lord was not going to leave Africa out. And so I am certain that there are other nations that do this, but these are the ones that have come to his attention that have angered him. Again, I say Nigeria, Liberia, Benin, Ghana, Cameroon, South Africa, Botswana, Zimbabwe, Zambia, Malawi, and Tanzania says the cries, <clears throat> please excuse me, the cries of the earth that receive the blood of man is great. God says that man is a priceless being, a special creation made in my image. Why should he be destroyed? Why should he be slain? Why should his blood run like an open highway to the sea? There is an open highway into the sea whereby the gods and the deities demand the blood of human sacrifices and those who are willing to do anything to gain power, ascension, to rise. They pay that price in the blood of infants, children, men, and women. This is all around the world. These occult rituals are not just practiced in Africa. This is the prophetic word of the Lord, the highway into the sea. Africa, you are in trouble, part two. God talking about humanity being taken away at an accelerated rate. God saying that on the outside, it just looks like an increase in violent crime. On the outside, it just looks like the increase in like strange murders, but while the governments of these nations cannot cope on the inside, he says that it is because Satan has raised the price. Satan has raised the stakes. And as Satan raises the price in the demonic kingdom, guess what? The price on the value of human life goes down in response to how high he raises it. So the higher he raises it and says, oh, it's no longer two virgins. It's now 10 there are men and women and syndicates and gangs who will scramble and work harder and simply find more people. And therefore we find murder, violent crime, rapes, and all these things skyrocketing in these societies. And the politicians and people are just thinking, what's going on here? At least the ones who are not participating. And they think the country is falling to pieces, but actually... The dragon is flying in the spirit over these countries, demanding his payment. And as long as there are wicked workers in the midst, they are willing to pick up the innocent, the negligent, those who are not watchful, those who are not vigilant, those who do not pray, those who are not covered in the blood, those who are not hidden under the robe of the Lord, they become the casualties to these things. May the Lord receive the glory for his exposure and his truth. I am Celestial, and this is the Master's voice. And until I see you again, God bless you, and goodbye.